So he said, I'm playing more Nova Drift. And I'm going to try a build. Also suggested by Zero Protagonist. I wanted to see how well this would work. Uh, warp Shield. Yeah, Warp Shield could be fun. Yeah. Because we're going to get lots of explosions going. Pretty good, pretty good. Need the Architect, though. Wouldn't mind energized shields, but do we want them now? We do want the discharge, but we also want magnitude. Whew, tough choice here, tough choice. Let's get the magnitude first. Shield durability. All right. We'll see if we can make this work. And if not, we try something else. Looking for any last minute goodies. Didn't find any, unfortunately, but maybe we can find something. Ooh, Polar Inversion. Alright, we'll try it. Are we ready for mines? Shield cooldown would be nice, but let's go ahead and get some mines so we can get loaded mines. Don't, don't you dare. That, you, you knocked me in, enemy. You knocked me in. That was rude. That was very, very rude. Another energized shield? Or do I just go ahead and take the splinter? Let's go ahead and take splinter. We do won't. A lot of area coverage. And Splinter is a reliable way of doing that. Wrong specialization, but I will take a payload. Gives us slightly bigger explosions and more damaging ones. Da -da 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 -da. Volley or shield cooldown? Let's get the let's get the shield cooldown for now. Do not want minefield. Do want Gemini Protocol. And there it is. Alright. Let's see if we can get Gemini. overwhelmed. This is when I wish we had that higher rate of fire, thanks. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
Ooh, Phantom Strike. Could work with certain things here. But do I want it now? That's more debatable. Probably do want the Volatile Shields. That does go well with what I'm trying to build. Also, getting Regenerative Shields wouldn't be a bad idea either. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's take the Regenerative Shields. Finally, Loaded Mines. What you got for us? Dying relatively quickly, I hope. Not quite as fast as with the pulse weapon, but still pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, not even to leave. Ah, uh, there's the retribution. Let's go Retribution. Energized Shields. I don't mind a few of them, but... How many do I want? Flash shielding for more break build, but let's get the volatile shields instead. And then we can work on the rest. for you. Maybe we'll get this combination right one day. Twin strike, eh? Do I want a twin strike? Uh, maybe we can take one without hurting too badly. I'm not entirely certain about this one. Not entirely certain. All right, so we want Omni Shield, ideally, so that it's easier for us to trigger Retribution by taking some hull damage. How reliably we can get there is a different question, but that also means I want Adrenal Module. I also want the... Blast Radius Increase. Let's take the Adrenal Module. Pretty good, pretty good. Nope. Not good enough to penetrate that shield, however. This game bounced everywhere.
need to remember to leave a mine to cover my tracks. Do I want this? I could use faster construction speed to be sure. All right, we'll take it. Just a little closer. Just a little closer. Shall we try discharge? And hope we don't kill ourselves in the process. to lower our max hull enough that discharge will trigger at least a lot more reliably. Uh, don't think we want those just yet. Though I do want to go down the skirmish path, I suppose. More hull. Kind of want to go the opposite direction, really. Not flash shielding. Do I want reflexive or do I want to wait for barrier? I kind of think barrier would be better for us, really. Maelstrom also is tempting, but I really want to get this build going and seeing what happens. Uh, could use the rate of fire increase. Or I could just winnow all this. Let's win him. Maybe we can pick it up on the next go round. At the very least, we should have plenty of rerolls. Tempting. There's barrier. This is a very colorful weapon system. Probably wasn't smart to just take that hit on, but oh, I thought that was the first attack. Never mind. There we go. 
I do like this combination of discharge though. A good short range attack and then followed up with a long range one. Don't want to give up our shield this time. That would be um that would be bad. I think it would be safe to say that would be bad. There's the Omni Shield. Let's see. Can we trigger enough? Or do we need a little bit more health and all that good stuff? That is the question. Also don't need to run to the enemies quite so much. Are to get pinballed in between them. That is not good. Bonk, a bonk, a bonk. Armor is not the worst thing in the world here, but do we need it? Don't know. Candescence, we could also make work with the right combination. Reflexive shields is a little bit more shields. And skirmish. Let's go skirmish and essence sap. See if that helps us out. There's Explosion Radius, that will help us do a little bit more damage than nothing else. Okay, that's fine, but we do need... I don't want a smaller blast radius, I want larger ones. Don't think you understand here. Hmm. Difficult decision. Let's go terminate though. My hull regeneration now is pretty horrible. Maybe if we get down to essence that we can get something a little bit more worthwhile. That's not good. That's not good at all. I was hoping that would do enough damage to trigger a mine, but not quite apparently. going to break our shield very often. Stabilization might be a decent idea. Again, armor is not bad, but when my energized shields, but let's try the high explosive. Larger explosions and more secondary explosions. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, we're definitely we're definitely getting a little bit larger explosion effects here. Pretty good. Where's the next enemy? There you are. Didn't realize it was already time for you, War. Would you like to do that again? Well, 
that almost killed me. Not exactly the most pleasant experience in the world. Ooh. All right, let's go for it. Mine specialist. Here we go. Always a welcome sight to see mine specialization in this kind of build. Well, they're not the most damaging in the world, but EGADs, they cover the screen pretty well. There's the essence sap. Let's see if it makes a big enough a difference here. Not exactly how I planned it, but you know what? I'll take it. Really enjoying the higher mind construction right now. I must say, the only thing I dislike about this compared to the pulse wheel we had earlier is that it takes a little longer for the mines to detonate. Maybe we need some whole strength. Well, let's try and see. Didn't provide much, but maybe it'll be enough. I just want to reroll here. Could use the candescence, probably won't use much of the absorption. I do like rupture. Let's see, what other... What else could I be going for here? I guess I could go mo Mortar. Yeah, let's try Mortar. In fact, I think Zero Protagonist mentioned Mortar earlier. I had just forgotten. Tempting, but no. Tempting, but yes. burn damage. Maybe I should do candescence, but no, we want to try the mortar first. It's one thing at a time.
champion versions are so much tankier than the normal ones. So much tankier. Uh, I guess we'll have to take self-destruct. Plot of decoherence is tempting though. Get those levels out much more rapidly. directions. I just didn't know which corner. Thank you for dying. And hello, Seraph. Stand there and let me shoot you, that's fine. No. Nope. Maybe later. You just don't want to give it to me, do you? But you have put up against a twin strike, eh? Nope. We're sticking with this. Just going to launch lots of mines at once and see what happens. Didn't do as much damage as I thought it would, truth be told, but it certainly exploded a lot. Obviously the grenade, but which one? <laughs> All right. Nope. Just stay away from that lands. Let's see if we can't find the mortar. So, mines deployed to high velocity in the fine direction. Less mine damage and effect. Let's see if this works with the retribution. Cannot be mitigated, but also cannot reduce hull shields below one. So, we won't kill ourselves from it of itself then. That's nice. Might get killed from all these enemies shooting at us. It makes me wish I had a warp strike. Kind of. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, this is... This is a fun one, too. I am enjoying this one quite a bit. Nope, nope, nope. Not enjoying being run over by a comet, though. I could have gone without that part. 7 out of 10. Everything was great except for the comet. Alright, what else do we need from here? We need our shield to come back. That would be useful. You want shield. All right, Comet, you, you kind of redeemed yourself on that one. Also, I need to redeem myself by actually aiming. Maybe I should get targeting after all. Candescence is more damage. I have taken several wild mods. Uh, let's see. Armor would be nice. Phantom Strike has its uses. Charge Shot, I don't think I need. Well, I don't have any rerolls left anyway. Let's try it. There's the targeting I was hoping for. Do I need ataraxia? I guess it'll help a little. Flex of shield is just more shield. Bravado makes my minds more powerful. Not really going for a shield break build. Get some armor, I suppose. Try not to get killed by all of that. Okay, every now and again we get to trigger retribution. Not too often though. Perhaps we need an even bigger health pool before we can. I guess there are advantages and disadvantages. Still, I do enjoy the discharge too. It's nice having a reliable way of damaging enemies nearby. Didn't even know where I was for a second there. All right, enemies. Straight up missed that one. I don't know if targeting affects the mortar, but it does seem to affect the little grenades it throws out. So I guess I should be happy for what I get, but wish it would help the mortar. <laughs> or at least the mortar rounds. Heavy calibers would be nice. Just flat up weapon damage and more initial damage would be good. A little more thrust wouldn't be bad from stabilization, but let's let's be greedy. Let's see if we can't get some heavy caliber action. Wouldn't even mind an energized shield. Just to keep our discharge health topped up a bit. Not to mention when our shield goes, we likely die. Singularity detected, alright. Y'all can 
I'll go visit the Singularity, I'll stay away from it. Hidden power is a no. Uh, kinetic boost is not nothing. Don't want the double tap. Concentrate blast, maybe? Let's see how it changes things. Yeah, not as big, but definitely more powerful. Might even be better to have it somewhat smaller. They were going so far, they were just going off the screen. Now maybe the secondary explosions will be a little bit more useful. Or maybe not. Still doesn't help me much if I miss entirely, however. looking for those heavy calibers. trying comment. I appreciate that much. Probably our end. Well, maybe not. Called it too early. Just go for the extra damage from slipstream. That's 20% more damage. Also, 45% less friction. Let's give it a go. 
Who needs to be able to control what direction they move? Not us. Not us. Feels very much like we're dancing on ice here. Not slowing down as much as we used to, that is for certain. Alright. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. around there. I meant to go the other direction. Yeah, this is literally starting to give me dry eyes, itchy eyes, just from trying to watch the screen with all these explosions. Alright, maybe we can get this to work. Oops. friction. We have no shield. That was just a, a little scary, just a little. Let's try it. That or channeling. Let's take the channeling. Do we want a galvanic? does increase our shield effect power. Don't know how homing strike works here. Don't know if I particularly care either though. Yeah, let's try galvanic. Not what I intend to do. Alright, can we get you dead? Not all that friction reduction was hard to control there at the end. Ah well. Pretty fun. I enjoy that one. I'm sure there are ways to do that better. Might try it again later. Experiment. But still. Very much enjoyed it. And as always, I do thank you all for stopping by. 